It's definitely a shot to us, for sure. Um, I think at first you're shocked and saddened and turns into some anger and there's a mixed emotions, for sure. Um, and I think everybody in the department is feeling that. The Fairfield police chief speaking with KCRA 3 after one of his officers was arrested this weekend. 33-year-old Officer James Lewis, who worked as a student resource officer at Rodriguez High School, is accused of exchanging inappropriate texts and photos with two female students. Chief Daniel Marshall says one of the student's parents reported this to his department late Friday night. What did that parent say at that point? Um, the parent was just concerned about some text messages um, back and forth with Officer Lewis and their daughter. And another victim. Chief Marshall says they asked the Solano County District Attorney's Office to do an independent investigation into the officer for the sake of transparency and public trust. Officer Lewis was arrested nearly 10 hours later. He cooperatively came to the police department and was arrested at the police department. The District Attorney's Office says he's no longer in custody as of Monday evening. Most special assignments that we have are are requested and people put in for it and then they go through a selection process. In this case, did Officer Lewis request to be a school resource officer? He did. Chief Marshall says during Officer Lewis's nearly two years as an SRO at the high school and nearly seven years overall as an officer in the department, this is the first time he is facing allegations like this. It's definitely pretty sad because these are kids at Rod and these are kids our age. Students tell me being at school today, felt off. I think it was unexpected in the sense that like you're supposed to trust somebody that is put into a big position like that. So I think it was unexpected in that sense. But also, you know, this isn't unfortunately, it's not something that's uncommon. There was a lot of kids that were close to Officer Lewis, so it was kind of disappointing. In Fairfield, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Right now, investigators believe there are two student victims. If you have concerns or believe that your child could also be a victim, call Fairfield Police or the Solano County DA's office. Officer James Lewis is scheduled to be in court on Wednesday, May 8th. And the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District issued a statement saying in part, we are deeply saddened to share news that has shaken our trust and comfort in our community. We understand this does not reflect the values or actions of the majority of Fairfield PD officers. Our children's safety is and always will be our utmost priority.